In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare for this most holy and sacred of all celebrations, let us pause calling to mind our sins. And so we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up your power, we pray, O Lord, and come that you may protect us and we may and may find rescue from the pressing dangers of our sins. And with you, set us free. May we be found worthy of salvation, who lives and reigns with God the Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, O people of Zion who dwell in Jerusalem, no more will you weep. He will be gracious to you when you cry out. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. The Lord will give you the bread you need and the water for which you thirst. No longer will your teacher hide himself. But with your own eyes you shall see your teacher, while from behind a voice shall sound in your ears. This is the way, walk in it, when you would turn to the right or the left. He will give rain for the seed that you sow in the ground, and the wheat that the soil produces will be rich and abundant. On that day your flock will be given pasture, and the lamb will graze in spacious meadows. The oxen and the ass will till the ground, will eat silage tossed to them with shovel and pitchfork. Upon every high mountain and lofty hill, there will be streams of running water. On the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, the light of the moon will be like that of the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times greater, like the light of seven days. On the day the Lord binds up the wounds of his people, he will heal the bruises left by his blows. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm from Psalm 147. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing praises to our God, for he is gracious. It is this fitting to praise him. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem, the dispersed of Israel he gathers. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls each by name. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To him wisdom, to his wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly, the wicked he casts to the ground. Blessed are all who wait for the the Lord.
teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for the harvest. Then he summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. Jesus sent out these 12 after instructing them thus, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have two wonderful readings um, and, and, a, and a great psalm in between them. Uh, so we are reminded through all of that, uh, first in Isaiah, and this is not the only place that Isaiah has portrayed an, a time when the, when, when the people of Israel will want for nothing, a time when they will have everything that they need. Uh, there's one that's used often for funerals. Matter of fact, it was used just yesterday. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will save all people. On this mountain, the Lord will provide uh, rich meats and rich juicy foods and choice wines. Uh, so he portrays a time when the people will be fully satiated and not just in the far as the food is concerned, but in their heart and in their soul, their very being will have this, full, this sense of comfort because the Lord has, uh, has, has set his, 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 them as his people. They are the chosen ones. And so today in the gospel, we hear the same thing, except the Lord sees these, just as he shows the people of Israel, they need direction. I will tell you whether to go to the right or to the left. So he, he shows them, he will direct them in the right path for themselves. And we hear the same thing in today's gospel. They're like sheep without a shepherd. They do not know where they are going. And so his heart is moved with pity because they are indeed lost. And so he sends out his disciples. He gives them instruction and he gives them the power to go out and cure illnesses and proclaim the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the kingdom of God is at hand. And, you know, you and I have that same good news that we embrace every day, though it's harder, uh, in, especially when we deal with the year like this, because some of our own freedoms are taken away. But for you and I, we have to continue to come back to the ultimate freedom that, that has been given to us at our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one that has set us free. He is the one that set us free from, the, 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 from sin and death. And that is no small thing. He is the one who gave his life on the altar of the cross that you and I might share everlasting life. And for us to come back to that again and again and again, but not only, only for ourselves, but for others. You know, some of these 
the gospel today that we hear in more in older times would have been we need we need more missionaries we need more priests but I will tell you in this day and age I am so heartened especially in our own parish we have some beautiful young adults that are shepherding our children we have some beautiful adults that are shepherding our youth our young people and we have people that have given of themselves to do a variety of things here in our parish. Indeed, in this parish, we are greatly blessed. There are many parishes that they, all they have is their pastor, and the people haven't yet learned that they, too, have a mission in life, that God, too, will direct them in the way that they should go and how they are to bring this good news to others. I remember there's some priests that want to go back to the 1950s, and all that kind of stuff, and I always say, all right, you're going to be doing your own bulletin, you're being, and then you'll be printing it out on mimeograph, you'll be mowing your own lawn and your t-shirt and black slacks, all that kind of stuff. I live part of that. I saw it, and it is so much easier because the people have given of themselves to do so many things in the church today, and we need more people to to engage and become more engaged in what the possibilities of all we can be in the church. The, the word gospel comes from the old Greek translated into the old English, which is evangelion, which means the good news. And we embrace the good news, but we also, with that good news, we comes a sense of direction and a need to reach out to those who continue to be lost in their lives. And believe you me, we have many that continue to be lost in their lives, especially in this day and age. There's so many things to draw them this way and that way. And in the process, and of course out east, and out west, I mean, in uh, Hollywood and that whole area, all the way up the west coast, there's so many of those people that are so longing, they're so lost, and they need direction. They need the hope that only Christ can give. And I remember... They, there was a time when the, that whole sect of people would jump from one next, the next religious fad to another, to another. And they're the kind of people that, you know, they, they, they keep searching because they don't want to come back to that which, that, that they've already passed. It. That's passe, which is sad because it's the only way that will give them a sense of direction. It's the only thing that will fill their hearts with a sense of joy. And you and I already know that joy. Let us live that joy to the full. Let us be the direction for other people in how we live our lives. And may we also invite others to share in this good news that you and I receive every time we come to Mass. But also the sacraments that the Catholic Church has. When I meet some people from another thing, I, I rejoice that they have the good news. I tell them, but, but there's so much more that, you, that, we, that you're missing out. The sacraments that oftentimes you look for are still mentioned in sacred scripture, but the names aren't there. But if you see, look between the, between the lines, you will see that all those things are talked about in the letters of Paul. All those things are there about marriage. That's in the, and that you find in the gospel, we find in the Old Testament, and so forth. Those things are there. All you have to do is look for them. They may not be referred to as the name we give them as sacrament, but they are there. And their church has lifted them up as these important places and times that you meet God face to face in a very powerful way in the church. So we rejoice in what we have, but we want to share what we have so others may come to understand the fullness of God's love in his church, in his word, in his sacrament, in his people. Trusting in the power and care of our God, whose heart is moved with pity for us, we confidently bring our prayers to him at this time. For the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the church's witness and the commitment to ending racism and prejudice, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, may God's power bind up the wounds of all people and bring peace, especially in lands tormented by violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are grieving, may the tender compassion of our God carry them and strengthen them in the days and weeks ahead. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may the gifts of the Holy Spirit empower us as we share with others the healing and, and hope found in Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially on this day, remember Ken Kenworthy Sr. May he and all who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, rest in the light of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those prayers offered before the Blessed Sacrament in adoration, and are for our private petitions we offer at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we bring you these prayers filled with the hope we know in Christ Jesus. Hear and answer them, we pray, as you see fit, through Christ your Son, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the your goodness we have received this gift of bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Mystery is swallowed wine, then come sure the name of Christ and humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this gift of wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let the good of all his holy church be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed in his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, <clears throat> when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles, our beloved patrons of this place, St. John the Baptist, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, and blessed Stanley Rother, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look down on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Of Christ. The body 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 of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ.
Let us pray together a prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. Implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May every blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go forth proclaiming the gospel by your lives. Thanks be to God. Morning star, strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, sustains us.